Hello everybody and welcome to the Charlotte Roble for the cutoff race in our NASCAR Heat 5 2023 Cup Series career mode here at the Charlotte Roble. Round of 12 cutoff. We'll knock it down to 8 drivers after this race. Denny Hamlin already clinched his spot in the round of 8 with a Texas win. And to start the stories of the race, we'll go to Denny Hamlin who has been struggling all weekend and appears to be struggling today at the Roble. And will maybe not be his day. Austin Hill is a friend, as we know, and your poll winner, the 20, Christopher Bell, looking to win back-to-back -back elimination races here in the playoffs. He'll win number three on the season. He stole Bristol by narrowly inches over us. What can he do today at the Roble? We start all the way back in 25th. Got our work cut out for us. We're green and underway from the Roble. Round of 12 cutoff race underway. We have already clinched our spot in the round of eight on points after a decent Talladega run and a very strong Texas run. Well, it was an average Talladega run, average Talladega run, but the amount of playoff points we have recruited, we are just fine. Trying to pass Austin Dillon. Now we get by Cole Custer for a spot inside the top 20, going by Ryan Priest. Getting physical. Trying to get up with the top 20 early here in the back of the four. Harvick going way wide. Trying to get the Harvick Kyle Busch going to the grass here through turn three. Super aggressive early here at the Rubble. How about Cole Custer, though, in the top 20? And Rick Ware Machine on a road course doing a whale of a job right now. We go around the outside of him. Chase down Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch. Of course, two of our championship contenders both trying to advance to the round of eight. We send the one deep to the inside. We make the pass. Get by Bush and Harvey. Now go by Bill Wallace for position number 16 here at the Charlotte Robles. He moved us inside the top 20, just outside the top 15. Trying to find our way forwards here on this opening lap of racing. Trying for the 16th. The rest of the pack, though, just driving away from us as we lost so much momentum through NASCAR 3 and 4. Heading towards the backstretch chicane. Now 40 going stage 1. Next lap, we go to the inside of Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and find our way up into the top 15 here at the Roble. Getting by Stenhouse right there. And now we charge after Tyler Reddick and Martin Truex Jr. Christopher Bell continues to lead and dominate the early portion of this race so far as we get to the back bumper of the 45. Tyler Reddick give him a shot, push him into Truex, push him into Chastain through the corner. Big stack up, gives Reddick an opportunity to pass Truex. He throws a huge block on Ricky Stenhouse, trying to maintain this position out through these very tough carousel like corners. Go the inside, the 45, the 19, pass Reddick and Truex, two for one special, the 13th. A beautiful move right there. Now the back of the 14 of Chase Briscoe for 12th. We send it by him, going back up into NASCAR, one and two now. Chasing down Chastain in 11th and Chase Elliott 10th. A couple laps later, Busher's now falling to 11th. Now we go to the inside of Chris Busher, make that pass, get around him, chase down Chastain for a spot inside the top 10. Our teammate, we're trying to help advance here to the round of eight. He pretty much needs to win as we go sliding sideways. We almost spin, what a save. We almost lost everything, pushing it too hard to get around Busher. Now hit the walls of the carousel, pushing too hard. Get by Martin Truex Jr., who we will still pass cleanly here through this corner. Move into position number 12 on the racetrack and chase down Chris Busher and Chase Elliott as we work our way down the front straightaway next lap later. It's two to go in stage one. Now a big run the inside of Busher, Larson, and Bowman. We're going to get a three for one here to turn one. Narrowly clear the 48 with some contact. Trying to get into ninth here around Larson, which we do take. And now start our sights on Chase Elliott in the eighth position. Now we're trying to block Chris Busher down the back stretch here. He's sending us way too deep in the corner. And we send him wide. He's into us. We both go way off, almost into the tire barriers. We both go here. Pushing it way too hard at the road, but both of us go way off. No caution. We stay green. Christopher Bell has just one stage number one here at the Charlotte Roble in dominating fashion. We try to hang on to nine and get a solid two stage points here at the Roble to maintain top ten track position to have a shot at the win and to try to make it a three straight road course sorry, four straight road course victories. As we will hold on and get ninth in stage one. We're stage one winner, Christopher Bell, taking care of business early here at the Roble. Points for Byron, Chastain, Elliott, myself, and Busher. It's a lot of playoff guys getting some points and we get back underway in stage number two. We restart in eighth alongside Ty Gibbs in the 54, having a great top 10 effort right now in 70. Go underneath Gibbs, now chase down Chastain, McDowell, three wide, get around McDowell on the inside of William Byron for fourth, getting physical, but it works. Now we give SVG the bumper to Kevin Almondinger, three wide for second, what a restart here at the Roble, we have absolutely terror, torn our way through the field. We are on a tear on this restart, now chasing down the 20, Christmas for Bell for the race lead, that 20 car is fast, and he is continuing to drive away, a couple laps later, lap 10, Harrison Byrne blows a tire, cleans out Todd Gilliland here at the Ropel and no caution should be called but Gillen gets wiped out by Harrison Byrne and then slammed by Corey LaJoy and Eric Almarola. As they're trying to hold off William Barnett Jr. Here we go pushing it way too hard up here. goes super loose down the track almost wrecking with three to go in stage two from second. That's going to forfeit 
Byron Almendinger gives to McDowell four spots go by, so he's punt tie gives out of the way. It gets two more down the east side of Almendinger. That's three back. This guy we're back in third. And I have to find a way around William Byron for position number two, which we will hear the carousel. We just get right by William right there, getting a little bit physical. We make the pass, get by Byron up into second. And trying to hold him off for the end of the stage. Well, big wiggle, but we will hold him off. Christopher Bell wins stage two, sweeps the stages in dominating fashion at the road. We come home second, charging our way to the front. Then Byron, Chastain, Elliott also gets stage points. And now we get back underway here. 13 to go. We restart in the race lead. A great pit stop from the track house crew. 13 to go. We try to hold off the 20. Christopher Bell, he makes some contact. Bell slides behind us. He saves it. Bell gets saved by Byron, but loses a lot of track position down to third. Now we hold the lead. Now next lap there, Christopher Bell is right in our back bumper trying to get to the lead. He gives us a big shot. We try to break in the corner. We both go too hard. We go way off the corner. It's a course penalty. Hopping in the air into the barrier. Bell holds the lead and we choke with a course penalty and there goes our hope of winning this race. William Byron goes through into second. Now we're blocking Chastain. Allmendinger goes by into third. Now we try to move out of the way of Chastain. Throw a block on Chase Elliott who slams into us. I'm trying to help Chastain now. Now that I know I've thrown away my chance at the wins, we were doing so well until that corner right there. Now he sent it way too deep here through this corner, goes super wide, hopping completely sideways, spinning into the door of Chastain, saving it again. 11 I'm just done Chase Elliott's BSO. I dumped the 9 to Elliott in the corner. There goes his playoff hopes possibly. Does he have enough points to advance as we dump Chase Elliott? For fourth place, now we're finding Michael McDowell for fifth on the racetrack. It's absolutely true. We clip him as it's all falling apart here at the Roval. An absolute choke artist. Myself, we sold. Now we're trying to hold on to fifth above Busher McDowell and just hope Ross Chastain can drive his way up in the lead here. So we can get both track guys in round eight. A couple of later, Busher sending us way too deep in the corner. He goes in too hard, so I just turn him. There goes Busher. We spin Busher around. Now is he enough points above the cut line to advance to the round of eight on points? Uh, we sent him there through the backstretch chicane, and we're throwing an aggressive block on Ty Gibbs as the racing's really heating up here at the Roval in the final stage. Chaos breaking out. We haven't hit our final green flag pit stop yet. Unbelievable. As I'm just trying to hang on to every position I can here. Currently scored in fifth place with just 10 laps to go. Now a few laps here. We're coming in for the scheduled green flag pit stop. The final one of the day. The money stop. We get down to the pit road speed limit. Come on in and get ready to get some service. Hopefully it puts us back out in a great spot on the racetrack. So we come in. A 15 second stop estimated here as the crew gets down to business. Right side tire is all good. Clean so far. Fuel continue to fill up. Now on the left side. Chastain goes by. He's right back on the racetrack. Almanier back out there, Byron back out there. That'll put us probably back in fifth here as we come out in front of Shane Van Gisbergen, the 91 or teammate there, SVG. We come back out on the racetrack, scored in position number five here at the Charlotte Roll. Christopher Bell still leading, dominating, looking to get the victory here. Chris with the runway at the win. Now on to just three laps to go. We're still in fifth, trying to hold off SVG and Ty Gibbs. Two hungry cars behind us looking for this position. I'm just trying to bring it home with a solid finish here through the first couple of corners of the racetrack. And as we go through, the caution is coming out. We got overtime here at the Robo. We start in fifth. Byron Almond here, Chastain Bell. So we go aggressive. We're trying to get to the lead. Way too deep into the heartburn turn in the wall. We go too deep into the Tums heartburn turn. And all of a sudden, we have choked it now. Big damage on the hood of the race car. Down from position number 5 to ninth on the racetrack. Getting physical. Using the bumper now on Cindric and Gibbs. Trying to recover. We get inside the SVG. Run him way wide. SVG into the fence. He wipes out behind us. We're racing Cindric hard. He gets loose. He saves it. Him and SVG both save it. But we're using everybody up here. Trying to hang on to fifth. Chastain up there in fourth. Byron third. But it's Bell and Almendinger one and two. Christopher Bell driving away at the Charlotte Roval. Looking to bring home the victory and another clutch win in an elimination race. That typical Christopher Bell set out. Come down the track for Black Austin. Cindric on lap 30. He wipes out the outside. And he will block the racetrack. Blocking Briscoe, SVG, Redick, and the rest of the field. And he will spin down out of the way, taking SVG down with him. And a shame for SVG having a great top five run. His day now ruined. Now Gibbs gets into us. We get physical with him through this corner. We just send Ty Gibbs around. He goes. There goes Ty Gibbs. We wrecked him here for fifth to maintain him. So I wasn't dealing with this shit. And now through the final corner, Christopher Bell will win at the Charlotte Roval and advance to the round of eight with another elimination race victory. And we come through the final corner to bring home a disappointing but still strong fifth place finish to end the round of 12, which we barely escape out of. Top five finish here at the Roval. A tough day regardless of the advanced final race results. Christopher Bell absolutely dominant today. Clearly had the best car. Gets the win. Advances the next round. Three-time winner this season. Almendinger, a strong second place finish. Byron comes home in third. Chastain fourth. Was it enough for them to advance? 
We will see. We come home in fifth, running in your top five. Then you got Gibbs, Briscoe, good runs inside the top ten for them, as well as River Attic and Stenhouse and Busher will come home in eighth. A strong run for him today, but not sure if it will be enough to save him to advance to the next round or not. Then Kyle Bush 11th, Truex 12th, Harvick 13th, Logano 14th, Elliott 15th, Blaney 17th, all in the same area here inside the top 20. They're all so close with the stage point variance. You never know. It looks like it's going to be a tight bubble battle here. <clears throat> and then all the way down 21st through 30th, 31st through 40th, Denny Hamlin finishes 37th as Haley and Burton DNF. Tough day for Denny, but regardless, he got that Texas win. He is fine. He transfers to the round of eight, no problem. As Christopher Bell dominates and wins here at the Rollers, you can see the playoff grid. Who made it out of the round of 12? And that's going to be Christopher Bell and Denny Hamlin with wins. Myself by 148 points. Chase Elliott advances by 36. Harvick advances by 19. William Byron with a clutch run at the Roval will go from below the cut line to 12 to the good. And Byron will make it to the round of eight. Truex makes it by just six. And Kyle Busch eliminates Joey Logano by four points as Logano, Chastain, Busher, and Blaney have been eliminated from the playoffs. A strong season for Logano. He had three wins, but in the playoffs, does not execute. He's done. Chastain, our teammate, out by 13. A valiant late effort at the Roval, but two bad runs in a row. Not going to get you anywhere in the playoffs. Busher just didn't have enough playoff points. And Ryan Blaney started from behind after a wreck at uh, Kansas and a bad run at Talladega. He will get eliminated. So both Penske cars out, and here we go. The round of eight. Bell, Hamlin, myself, Elliott, Harvick, Byron, Truex, and Bush. And the fastest of the race will go to Ross Chastain with a 27 <laughs> So unfortunate. We wanted him to advance to get both track house cars through. Of course, Bell led the most laps. Lean 29. He was the dominant car of the day. He deserved the win. We were the on-the-move driver up 20 spots from 25th to 5th. Still, I wish I didn't choke into the heartburn turn. And the tough break goes to Michael McDowell, who goes minus 25 from 7th down to 32nd. Now he's updated playoff grid to begin the round of 8. We sit pretty atop the playoff grid once again with all our playoff points. We sit plus 90 to the good. Over the cut line, Truex is second plus seven. Elliott third plus six. Harvick only three points above Bell at the cut line. Hamlin out by seven. Byron out by eight. And almost a must win for Kyle Busch. Out by 20 points already to start the round as he's got zero playoff points. So until next episode of the Round of Eight opener at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I hope you all have a good one.